All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I'm going to give all the glory, if in the praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakhah Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to us, he said, I can just push and teach truth across four corners of the earth. Okay, here with a uh, Hebrew prayer, you know, uh, basically um, for remembrance prayer, you know, for the times of trouble that we're coming into, you know, we, hey, it's not, hey, every everybody knows what's going on right now, man, with the race riots, with the protests nationwide, okay, we are entering in times of trouble, you know, evil times, okay, according to the Bible, you know, this is all biblical prophecy, but, you know, as sincere believers and, and for the sincere servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai being His only begotten Son, and hey, we're gonna be we're gonna be praying in times to receive that power from the heavenly Father, man, to endure it to the end, you know, through the Spirit. Okay. All right. One of those things is you know remembering these spiritual accounts, remembering the scriptures, wisdom, and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Isaiah thirty three and six. Okay. And we pray and we pray that we have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and we use it, you know, to our to our full capability, man, in that time, even more in that hour, as we're doing now, you know. So. Uh, Here's the prayer written in the uh, Hebrew. We write the Hebrew from right to left in the Paleo ancient Hebrew, okay? And I worked the meanings above the uh, Hebrew words in the Paleo Hebrew characters below, okay? So uh, just going through it, this is uh, Baba Gasha, which means please, Nathan, give, Zakar, remember, or you can say remembrance, Shao, of, Hadabar, the word, Al, unto, Ibotka. Thy servant, okay. I buy this servant. K is the is for the die for thy, okay. To hope Yahal by in times a thigh of shall tazarah trouble. Thanks the water, okay. So the so the prayer, you know, it reads: Please give remembrance of the word unto thy servant to hope in times of trouble. Thanks. You know, and you can always begin the prayers with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash, meaning Heavenly Father in the name of the only begotten Son, in the in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, all right. You can all. Hey, this is this 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 is what we're going to need, man. Because praying, even praying to Heavenly Father, man, that's showing your faith, man. You know, that's showing a sign of faith. Okay, because you putting your burden unto the Lord. And uh, I want to say Galatians chapter six verse two speaks about that. You know, cast your burdens unto the Lord. I may be wrong, but okay. But there's some scriptures to uh that correlate, you know, with the prayer. You know, this is Psalms 119. It's a lucky. Psalms 119, verse 49. All right. And I get verse 50. It says, Zion, remember the word, remember, uh, remember the word unto thy servant, which thou hast caused me to hope. See, and we and we understand a hey, hope is faith, you know. These scriptures cause us to have faith in these times of trouble. While everybody else is panicking and losing their mind and, you know, and, and becoming sorrowful because they, they can't live their best life. They can't live out their, their, their dream, you know. But they think they're going to go back to normal, but it's ultimately not, okay. But we understand that, hey, we're going to need that prayer to keep, hey, because things are going to, these prophecies are going to be heavy. That famine is going to be heavy, you know. The riots, these uh, race wars are going to be heavy. A lot of death and destruction is to come, you know. So we're going to need that comfort through prayer, man, that comfort from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the one true power. Okay, he's going to show that unto us, man. He's going to reveal that power. And then the, others, the other people out there, you know, outside, you know, uh, the faith, man, outside the spiritual thing of ours, they're going to realize uh, that we are the Lord's chosen, man. You know, it's all about the elect's sake, of course. All right, verse 50. This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. All right, because it's not going to be easy, man. You know, getting to the kingdom of heaven. Uh, Acts chapter 14, verse 22 speaks about. Um, I just I just get it since I brought it up real quick. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of, of the most high. See, do much tribulation. So that, that's, that shows you right there it's not going to be easy. You know, it's not going to be easy, okay? All right. So this is, uh, let me also get Psalms chapter 118, verse 8. All right. This is, uh, reading on, it says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. 
See, we don't put confidence in the, in the government to vote. We don't put our confidence, and that and that's your trust. You know, you don't. We don't put. We put our, our trust in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man. Okay, we trust that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is gonna is gonna is gonna lift up a standard for us, man. He's gonna lift up a way for us to escape through these through these troubling times. Okay, that we're coming into. Cause right now, man, this is this is the beginning of sorrows. All right, this is the beginning of sorrows. Okay, verse nine. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put tr confidence in princes. All nations could pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They could pass me about. Yeah, they could pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Okay. We always got we always got to remember accounts with uh Elisha bringing uh fire down from heaven. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, Elisha or Elijah. Okay. You know these spiritual accounts, man. The the three holy children, Meshach, uh, Shirek, and Abednego, in the, in the, in the fire, okay, and they wouldn't even burn, man. They wouldn't even touch, okay. These same things you got to believe. Hey, the Daniel and the lions, then you got to remember all these spiritual accounts. You know that's why wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. In the times of trouble, okay, it's going to have us confident. It has us confident now. We just got to remain, keep our crown, keep that confidence, keep that trust. You know, the confidence and trust and inter and correlate with each other in Hebrew is uh, batak. You know, that confidence. All right. Let me get Hebrews chapter 10. Okay, that's going right next precept. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. It said, it reads, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. See, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love, man. We do this thing willingly, but, but not by constraint, man. All right. We have a great reward, man, the kingdom of heaven that we be established on earth. We're going to uh, be ruling over these other nations, over the heathen nations, man. The Israelites, that is, the black, Spanish, and Native Americans, that are Israelites according to the Bible, okay? Verse 36, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. See, the kingdom of heaven is promised unto us, man. It's promised unto us, predestined. It's nothing people can stop. You can't stop it. It's all about us enduring at this point. You know, Lord willing, will be of that number because the elect are going to endure. He's going to put that spirit on the elect to endure, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. I already quoted it a couple times. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Because we fear, we don't fear man. That's why we don't put our trust in man. Because we don't fear the princes. We don't fear the government. We don't. We fear Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. That's what we do, what we do, man. We follow the law, the commandments. We pray. We repent. You know, when we go off, you know, we sin because we're not perfect. You know, we do all these such things because we fear you how about Shemiah was shy and strengthen salvation. OK. So back to the prayer, you know, uh, just going back through it. You know, this is this is, you know, a remembrance prayer, you know, to hope in the times of trouble, in the time of martial law, in the time of famine, the time of great death and destruction, you know, in the time of all these things, man. Whatever situation that is, okay? So I just read it out again. Uh, Baba Gasha, Nathan, Zakar, Shal, Hadabar, Al, Albatka, Yechal, Ba, Ata, Shal, Tazara, the water. Meaning, please give remembrance of the word unto thy servant to hope in times of trouble. Thanks, okay? Thanks, man. Call Alami Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Kakadash, you know? But, you know, Lord, really, you know, this lesson was edifying and exhorting for you sincere believers. And that, you know, hey, you know, we are, hey, the times the times of, of trouble are approaching, you know. And we're going to need, you know, to throw up even more prayers and have even more faith, you know, in these times. Okay. But, you know, Lord willing, you know, uh, we endure, man. You know, Lord willing. Okay. So, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and exhorting for you sincere believers. I want to give out, end up by giving all the glory and the praise unto too. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and will win overseas tabernacle of David. Hey, Shalom. Abad Babal. Shalom.